breaking news alert. And that breaking news involves the Washington commander's search for a head coach. Our Scott Abraham has confirmed the team has hired Dallas Cowboys defensive coordinator Dan Quinn. And Scott is joining us right now live on the phone uh, with the latest on this and what he is learning with this breaking news. Hi, Scott. Yeah, it's a big day for this franchise. The long wait is over. It's been 24 days since the team moved on from head coach Ron Rivera. Now they got a new head coach. Source confirmed to me just a short time ago that the team was hired, as you mentioned, former Cowboys defensive coordinator Dan Quinn. Now, this is a guy that commands respect. Everybody I've talked to, from players to coaches that have coached along, uh, Dan Quinn, they respect him. And he has an aura and a, and, a, and a motivational factor around him that players follow. Coaches love to coach beside him. And he's a guy that has NFL coaching experience. Yes, he was a coordinator for a number of years, the Cowboys and the Seahawks, but he also was the head coach of the Atlanta Falcons a few years ago. And if you remember, he led the Atlanta Falcons to the Super Bowl, nearly winning the whole thing, falling to the New England Patriots. So he's been through the battles, the fires. He's not a, he's not a first-time kid on the block type deal. He's going to know what to do inside that locker room, on the sidelines, as I mentioned, he has that experience, and this has been a long process for the commanders. They interviewed about seven to eight candidates. A lot of people felt like Ben Johnson, uh, the Detroit Lions offensive coordinator, was the front runner. It didn't work out. He decided to go back to Detroit. Another, another candidate was Ravens defensive coordinator Mike McDonald. He decided to go to Seattle yesterday. But all along, a source close to the situation told me that Dan Quinn was at the top of the list for the Washington Commanders. And uh, now we wait for when the press conference is going to be and how long the contract is going to be for Dan Quinn. But I do know Dan Quinn is coming to Washington to start a new era of Commanders football with new GM Adam Peters, who was hired a couple of weeks ago, and now the head coach, Dan Quinn. The challenge now for Dan is to fill out his coaching staff. He comes from a defensive-minded background. So he's probably going to have his fingerprints and handle on the defense. So what's critical now is to figure out who the offensive coordinator is going to be for this football team. Because if you remember, currently Washington has that number two overall pick in the upcoming NFL draft. All signs point to Washington landing a young quarterback at that number two spot. So you're going to have to figure out a quality offensive coordinator that can work with a young quarterback and pair them hand in hand as the, the future offensive tandem for this football team. That's going to be critical in terms of the success of this team of who Dan Quinn hires as his assistant coaches and coordinators going forward. This really sounds like a solid pick. Some new energy, Scott. Um, if we still have you there on the phone, yep, what are yep. you hearing from locals, fans? You're breaking this news. What are you already hearing, I'm sure, from our viewers about this? It's a great question. It's, it's, it's mixed. I'm going to be honest. It's mixed because the, the belief of the fan base, media members, national media members, that this was going to be Ben Johnson. Is there a letdown factor? Maybe. Do some people feel like this is, in a sense, Ron Rivera 2.0? Because Ron Rivera was a former defensive coordinator. He was a former head coach that brought a team to the Super Bowl and lost. So the resumes are very similar between Dan Quinn and Ron Rivera. So there's some hesitation right now by the fan base to be all in excited about this Dan Quinn hire. What I tell people is this. You don't have to be all about it, all excited right now as we talk in February, February 2024. What is the big factor in how you can determine if you're excited about this hire? Let, let's talk again in December 2024, in January 2024, when the 2024 season is coming to a close, and we'll see where this team is at under the leadership of Dan Quinn. I encourage the fan base, I encourage everybody, let's give this a chance, okay? It's a new era. There's going to be a honeymoon period. <laughs> I understand you want to you want to see results, right? You want to see results quickly, but it's it's going to take time. And uh, it's a new day and it's a new era and fans should be excited. 
some good energy. Our Scott Abraham with that breaking news this afternoon. Scott, thank you so much.